Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, this is my second attempt at wireless power transfer. Um, this time, uh, sorry, using a 555 timer. This time I'm using different coils. Uh, as well, I'm using a FET as opposed to a transistor. Uh, still not very efficient, but much, much, much more efficient than my last one. I can uh, I can get about a maximum of 270 milliam milliamps on the uh, secondary after the after it's rectified. That's the short circuit current at about half a centimeter uh, gap between the transmitter and the receiver coils. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to s uh, set this up. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now after I plug in power what's what's going on. Nine volts, 3.14 amps. At the input, 273 milliamps at the uh, receiver end, so short circuit current. So this is, I can experiment with the values by tuning this variable resistor, which adjusts the frequency to the 555 timer. Now, again, these circuits are not efficient. Um, there are more, certainly more efficient um, circuits out there. I can lower the voltage on the input. I can lower the current capability on the input so that the FET isn't being overdriven. It's, as you can see, there's a nice heat sink on there. So, but really, this is just for fun. Uh, at the transmitter, I've got a 555 timer pulsing to a, uh, to a FET that's heat synced. There's a adjustable frequency uh, between, I think I have it set to between 100 and 200 uh, kilohertz. At the secondary, the receiver side, I've merely got a uh, bridge rectifier, and I'm measuring short circuit current uh, along the positive and the negative um, leads. So uh, I'll show you my multimeter, and I'll show you me moving the uh, moving the coils in and out and how it affects our current. Sorry for the light. Uh, I'm gonna plug my transmitter in. So 2.86 volt uh, milliamps. I'll move it back. So at about an inch, I get 17 milliamps. And as I move it closer, 170. If I move it really close, even over 300 milliamps. The transmitter coil is getting pretty hot, but you can see the powers on the the, the current on the power supply going up as I move closer because it's actually transferring more power. So still not optimal by any means. The coil gets hot. Uh, it's not properly matched for the frequency. I need to do some more. Uh, research. So this is just for fun. Uh, the heat sink's actually getting pretty hot, so I imagine the FET's pretty cranky. That's why I didn't have it on for a long period of time. But I can tune it so that um, I can tune it to a frequency that will um, not cause so much current to go across the, the FET, but I won't get as much power transfer across the coils. So let me try that. Now the transmitter is drawing 560 milliamps at 9 volts, and I get 26. Uh, milliamps, a transfer at about a centimeter, a centimeter and a bit. Move it closer. Roughly 60 milliamps, one really close. Not almost 100. So the uh, transmitter is taking much less current now. A 720. Now I move it away. The transmitter is taking 520 milliamps. So this is a much, uh, this is a much less stressful circuit and we can still get a decent amount of, of power out of it. Obviously the efficiency is crap, less than 10%, but certainly better than our last experiment, much better than our last experiment. So just to show you an indicator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this, I'm going to put an uh, LED at the receiver. So the coils are about an inch, inch and a half apart. The LED is dimly lit. Now at about two inches, you can see the LED barely lit up, but I can still see light on it. At about two and a half inches, there's no light, so I imagine there's very maybe microamps being coupled right now between point A and point B. Let's move it closer. See the LED light up to its max. So it's only it's it's current limited, so to about 10 milliamps. So it's not going to get any brighter, but it's reaching the maximum current that can go to the LED at about an inch away. So it's a much more efficient circuit, 555 timer based. Um, I might release a kit for it if you guys are interested, who knows. But uh, yeah, so uh, sorry about the uh, visual quality of this video. I'm currently trying to um, update my lighting in my lab area. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care.